actual guard. And once again, is um, as a general rule, I'm going to be looking to pass the guard to my left hand side to Ishi's right hand side. So for her, it's better if she gets her hand inside this collar. The reason being is as I start to pass the guard, it gives her access to the collar shot. Does everyone understand that? So uh, for me, I'm always going to put my left hand inside the collar. Um, and that will always be yeah, okay. So now mine is from here. I take my bottom down to my heels. If my bottom's up off my heels, she can break me down because the posture forgives. So I come down, I push up from here. So make sure you're pushing up, but I'm pulling down. That's why they all want to go. So I try to get my posture and I push up. Once again, I'm onto the wrist and I'm onto the forearm. So if she tries to do the right and will it, I get the ability to do the wrist lock. Is that my hand? It's not that I'm going to. But it's more of a threat than my hand. Now, yeah, of course I'm going to so you can so I get on the same side, I'm sliding down like that is. As a general rule, right, is they're going to try to take you to that side because this is the major hand forward in the wrist. So when I slide here and I'm here, now she tries to turn this into the front, it's harder to do. Does that kind of make sense? And even if she does from here, I'm going to get control of it. If I happen to go the opposite side, like if she brings this to me in front of here, is if I turn this way, I don't have a post, so it's easy for her to pull me over. Does everyone understand? So if she puts that near throat, I'm going to go this way. So if she tries to kick me, that's the way, you know, that, that I'm going. And with the leg, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to push the leg forwards, not down. So when it goes forwards, if she tries to recover the guard, it's, it's a really awkward. Where it's down, she can kind of hook the half guard and bring it through. So the two rules, there's one contradiction here, and I'll explain the contradiction, right? Is she gets her hand inside the collar, grip fight from here. Right. Now, because I've got this side, I'm coming up on that leg. So that leg goes backwards, slides in, and I come up on that leg. And I'm pushing backwards as I come up. So this is the general rule where she's going to either switch to a left or to a right. So if she goes this way, I can either hold the foot or I can switch my base. So she continues to sweep me that way. The devil that one because my whole weight's going that way. It's easy for me to sweep me. So I'll generally kind of go and switch and compress. So her legs compressed against the body and I'm pushing the leg open. Is everyone okay with that? Okay. Just have a picture of that. We're going to go to option number two. One, two, three. I've got a kind of concept. I like to passing the guard and um, I'll play what I call more than left with guard pass. Um, high, low, and distance. And the reason I'm going to kind of explain um, why I do it. So I've got the grips from me here. I need something that I'm putting too much weight for just to break it down. So I'm here on the same side as that leg slides backwards. And it comes in. Now, for me, this is one of the parts that made the guard passing really important was I start to pass from height and I'm going to disengage. But if the chance of her submitting me is lower than I'm, when I'm on my knees as far as trying to arm bars and polish hands, she's got more chance of sweeping me, but I'm more agile on my feet than I am on my knees. So I want to bring the game board to favour to me, and this is one of the most common things where she look at going like the jump in. Right. So, I have I have a very um, a very easy way to deal with jelly heap is I go as the foot comes in, I like to press. So that gets rid of the jelly heap. So any time that someone has what we call the jelly heap foot, but a lot of times um, it's kind of like to back step and like that's what that foot does, right? So what I try and do is I try and go so I, I take my bottom of my hips, so I'm not compressing the drive forward. Now we compress, so if she tries to use it at the moment, it's gone. Now, this is the hardest part about it, is this. I want to switch that side of this side. If I pass it to my right, she's going to catch it using the other hand to follow me. If you don't understand, I need to turn going this way, the other hand can follow me, and she, yeah, right, she's got nothing to touch my back, etc. So what I try and do is um, I try and play a multi, so um, I go for my knees, to gain, to depress, drop it in, control. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm on my toes, I turn my knees outside, and that'll put me in the calm position to be able to start to go to like my like, headquarters and pass. Only time that my chest goes backwards, 
she's got the ability to bring in a quad. So part of my multi pass and my multi level are now here. So she tries to bring in a So as far as the points go, advantage to me. So I've won the fight, I just don't have to boost it out. But I've, I've won the fight. Right. Whatever you guys do is, I want to make sure that I'm passing away from the danger zone. I want to pass away from the danger. So think about it this way. Anytime I come this way, I give them the ability to attract the legs and go back into the guards by the So what I'm doing instead is, I want to start to pass my weight here and I'm turning this side. So my hand is on the top knee. If you can't see, come around. So we're here, hand, hand on the top knee. What I'm doing is I'm passing this side. So I'm generally going to try and put the hook into this. So just make sure you step backwards and we go to the back side. Um, they're either going to try and recover, I bum into, bum into me, so I'm just going to make sure that my weight's on them. And the second one is you're going to try and frame, which gives me access to the arm and things like that as well. So this is a bit more of a hard effort to um, especially someone who has a good, good guard recovery, good protection, good spider guard. Right? So we played this yesterday quite a fair bit. Just to test it out, just to make sure it works. So I have the control, I'm going to go to this side, so right leg, backwards, come backwards, leg comes up, boom, from here. I like to disengage, bring my um, bring my um, knee in to kill it. Control, yep. So for me, this is, this is what I start doing. I turn my knee on the outside and I start to compress. So I'm going to compress and land. See how the legs compress on the inside. And this is the half place. I want this knee, so I'm going to get rid of the hook. So on side the knee from here, I roll my hip down. So if you might be able to I can step off, come to the back side. Make sure that your weight is on the hips. If they try to like put, put their bum into the air, to make sure you drive on it. And they try and play. So, Ian, come over here please, buddy. So on your back, I'll just go into a little bit more detail. So, um, I'm inside the guard. Just come to me, just two butt shuffles towards me. Okay, nice. So on your back, uh, hand goes to my collar. Group fight on the same side. My knee goes out, not forward. Backward, CPR, pushing off my partner. Come backwards, grip fight, and goes down heap, inserts the foot in. I change my grip to the collar grip, drive forward, compress my knee from here, and all I'm doing is I'm dropping my weight down onto the knee. Sorry? Yeah, really important. Because now if he tries to pull his head away to recover guard, and I change the grip, now watch, I turn my hips down, I'm on the inside, so I'm pushing the top knee. Down, not the bottom knee, top knee. Okay, walk backwards. All right. So if he tries to recover by coming in headquarters, what he'll generally do is he'll frame off me, to try and push away. That gives me access to everything. So I always kill the top leg. You can't put the secondary hook in the bottom on the, on the top leg. Change partners, one, two, three. I'll put the time on for five minutes, guys, on this one. Just drill it out. Okay, here. Can I get you onto your back over here, buddy? So we're going to initiate exactly the same um, pass system. So uh, Ian's hand goes to my collar, grip break from here. Right leg goes backwards, left knee goes in from here. Boom, stand up. And now what he's going to do for me is, as he starts to recover the guard, so he starts to turn this way. The thing I do is I go, hand goes under and I get hold of the bottom one, close to the ankle. So my hand goes under. Yeah, this is the hardest part about the entire move. This is, I kick backwards, I drop and I put my head in. And my, my, my hand is free. I'm not going to use the 
So, uh, those of you who have done the cop rounds, this is my favourite pass. Um, so, and it's on that, like, I'm standing and he's gone, the knee shield is. Um, my two options are I, I put my fist onto the ground, or I, if I can, this. So, if I can't get that, I'll go to that. But this is my preferred. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'll push the leg down, shoulder come up, and head goes in. So it's one of my favourite uh, ways. I'll talk about the recovery of that song. Thank you. So from the standing pass is I've got the position and we're here. So that's my favourite at the moment. Um, I will hit here if I can't get that because you can your work like that. I hit this, down here. So this is the part is going to go short snap. So this is the part that I'm, if I'm on your shoulder, I'm too high, so I'm not going to turn it So if he tries to come down. Now, I'll go here and back in. Advantage. Yep. Like I said, it goes in. Straight back into it again. Well, second advantage. Head goes down. Pull. One leg to the leg. Now, just walk. Start up. Um, so for those of you that have rolled me in the competition, this is my favourite class I'm doing at the moment. I do it quite dynamically, but I'm on quite active when I'm past the start. Everyone okay to have a shot at this? One, two, three. Yeah, you stole the brakes. <laughs>